Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Conversations with Candace. I'm Candace, and we're going to be conversing today. Right off top, forgive me if there's any background noise. My neighbors don't care about anybody but themselves. But anyway, I'm here to talk about my new selfie ring light. So a while back, I did a review on a ring light that I got from Best Buy. I still use it. It's on right now. It's amazing. It stands right in front of my desk um, and it has lasted me quite a while. I'll put the link to that video right here or right here and you can watch it. However, I wanted a selfie ring light for um, when I do makeup videos for um, Instagram Reels and um, IGTV and things of that nature. This stands in front of my desk and it is amazing, but I also wanted something that was gonna be close up and give me a little bit closer um, lighting situation. If you are interested in learning about my makeup, what brand I'm using, I'm using Current Events Cosmetics. It's a black owned makeup company and the info for that can be found on her Instagram page at Current Events Cosmetics. I will put that link in the description box and her name in this video because I'm doing it and y'all know I'm doing it. So let's get to this ring light. I have the nine inch selfie ring light with tripod stand. I ordered this on Amazon and I will put the link to purchase that through my um, influencer store in the description box as well. It says ring light, 10 um, adjustable brightness and three color lighting modes. So my current ring light only has two lighting modes. It has the sepia one and that really like white ish blue bright one and I mix the two. So we're gonna see what these little colors are gonna do for us, what the 10 adjustable brightness will do for us as well. Let's put it together and then I'm going to switch my view to my phone so we can actually get a full demo. So inside the box, I believe this is the stand. It looks like this and just screws on. Then we have the ring light itself and it has some things inside. So I'm just gonna take these off. Obviously, this holds my phone. Here's another part that we'll take out. Here's another. So this is the one that I'm used to that holds my phone. It's stretchy and it's just like the one on my other ring light. It stretches and retracts. So it's always, it's tightest. Even when it's pulled out, it's gonna tighten up so it can hold my phone. It has a little screw part on the back as well. It comes with a selfie timer, which is great. I don't think I will be needing it, but if I do take this out, I will use it. And then last but not least is the ring light itself, nine inches, and the instructions. If I wanna use this without the ring light, I can just put this guy onto my tripod, but I think I do want to use this ring light as well. Anyway, I'm going to get this plugged up and then I'm going to switch to my phone view so you can see exactly what this guy can do. Okay, I'm back. I have it propped up on something on my desk. The thing is actually blue now, so I'm going to press the on button. Ooh, holy God. Guys, that is so bright. <laughs> okay really bright what we're gonna do is see that's the white light i'm assuming okay that's the sepia type one or yellow and then that's i guess soft white bright white yellow soft white or bright light bright white bright white and soft white are kind of hard to tell apart yellow, bright white, soft white. I don't know, girl. Anyway, now we're going to adjust the brightness. We're gonna do the plus sign. She's as bright as she's, she's gonna go now. Let's go down. There we go. Mm, that's kind of natural right there. So let's switch to yellow and go back bright. I'm on an iPhone 8 Plus, so there's that. 
and we're gonna go back down on the yellow that's the lowest the yellow will go so you can still see me I'm lit up nothing else is lit up but if you go brighter it will be so now let's go to so that's soft line. bright white this is the brightest bright white will go this is the lowest bright white will go this is soft white soft white seems to be the most realistic we're gonna go up give my phone a second to figure out what's going on and then go back down and that's that that was a little bit of a demo of with how well the light works it works really well I was trying to use an um, external power source and when this is charged all the way up I believe it'll work fine for that so that's great if you need to do like vlogging on the go and you need a power source but the other thing that I wanted to show you is if you don't need the ring light itself you can just attach this phone case so I'm gonna take this off and just show you what it's like here's the stand you can just hold it like this hold it like this and put this guy on if you want to use it horizontal or landscape you would do it this way then you could tilt it and this is really good for vlogging especially if you're going to put it on YouTube now I would be putting mine mainly if I'm vlogging out and about I'm going to mainly use mine horizontal as well so it just screws on like this this is tight and then you can loosen this part up a little bit so that this little ball can tilt the way you need it to and it goes all the way down like this so if I were making food or something I could Put this on the counter have my phone facing down so it can um, get all of the goodies that I'm cooking but then if you want to take it off and do portrait mode you can do that as well so you tighten this back and then just unscrew this part And it seems like I can actually switch from portrait to la to landscape by just turning this little guy turning him like this that's what we get when you have this little ball right here so I would put it in just like this but it's gonna hold it tight so if I want to do a selfie I can do a selfie out like this I can turn it this way as well and get whatever I need just like this and this thing's not gonna drop my phone it's the same one that I have on my big ring light there's not a carrying case but these would all fit into like a laptop case or um, a small backpack so if you need a separate case this is not the one for you but if you have a separate case or can just get a separate case this will work out fine so let me know if you happen to buy this. I'm going to be using mine, especially for this little handheld feature. I think it's going to be really, really good. Um, again, I will put the link to this in my um, description box because I want you to get it from my Amazon store. Thank you for joining me on this episode of Conversations with Candace. Until next time, y'all have a good day.